I'm meteorologist Michael White with your Fox 10 storm tracker report. You look live at the storm tracker radar before 430 in the morning and things are dry and quiet. But of course it is a late June morning, so the air a bit on the humid side and that will continue through the day today. And of course we're going to dodge scattered showers and storms just like we've had to do in the last several days. The storms have been hit and miss, but if you've been caught underneath one of those showers, the potential for heavy rain and lightning exists and we're going to see that again today. And we're going to see those blossoming up with the daytime heating process. You, of course, you get the heating of the day. The air parcels rise. The air is already humid, and that's why those summer storms make appearances. And when thunder roars, go indoors, and it'll pretty much be the forecast every day this week with the rain coverage around 40 to 50 percent. Now we are watching a tropical disturbance that's off the Carolina coast that has the potential to become a depression or storm before it makes landfall, but it is running out of real estate. Current probability of development sits at 60%. Here's a look at your weather headlines for this Monday. A humid morning. As we go in throughout the day, it's going to be warm with a few storms. The high will be near 90 and then the week ahead rain chances will last every single day on the Fox 10 future cast periods of showers and storms will blossom up. You'll start to see those showing up around the sea breeze this afternoon around the I 10 corridor, lifting a little farther inland as we hit the late afternoon and then in the early evening hours, you get that final push with the potential of heavy rain and lightning and then after about nine o'clock, those things are gone and we'll have a very quiet Monday night and Tuesday morning. Here's a glimpse at how the next seven days stack up. The high every day will be in the upper 80s. The morning temperature every day will be in the low 70s. 40 to 60 percent coverage of showers and storms every day. And for now, we'll see a similar forecast as we hit 4th of July weekend. We'll be talking much more about the forecast throughout the day right here on Fox 10 News Now.